on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Sleep. Last thing I remember, I Odin Heimdall. Oh shit! What did I do? Oh. But whatever he hit me with, how long was I out? like a dream but uh, how am I still alive after that so cold what my fire hell hell out that's right uh Their parting gifts. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'll find a way home. Uh, somehow. Dwarves. See, dwarves made that little old trinket of his. Maybe if I could find the same ones. Wait, they also. I gotta find something. This damn sword is busted, so. It's like the only weapon I really have is. Hey, my files are missed. That's right, they're gone! He must have broken it. Well, as long as nothing ended up getting it, I guess it's not. Too much to worry about. But God help us if something dangerous got a hold of it. As Zuku, he starts walking towards, well, anywhere. And as soon as people start looking at him, he's kind of like, uh, hi. Everyone just starts running and screaming, yelling out <laughs> the name. God Eater. Which. Wait, wait, what? God Eater? As he sees a multitude of uh, propaganda surrounding him. It's not the best flowering picture, but the green hair is definitely a giveaway. Him realizing, he's like, right, I killed Heimdall. Him just trying to find a way, he's like, okay, how, how can I remedy this? How can I make it so no one's scared of me? You are a real idiot. Excuse me? You heard me, you're an idiot. What are you talking about? Seriously, you you dyed your hair to match that of the God Eater? What if Odin finds out and tries to kill you? Everyone's like, died? What do you mean, wait, what are you talking about he dyed his hair? 
This woman just has her hands full of charcoal powder, just wiping into Izuku's hair. <laughs> See? His hair's black, not green. Everyone just instantly feels a hell of a lot better. Just... Woo! Thank goodness. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, why were you doing that? Like, uh, uh, who's, who's the God Eater? What? You, you, you don't know the God Eater? No! <sighs> you must be new to these lands, aren't you? What, are you a tourist or something? Yeah. Yes. I've traveled far. Huh. I suppose so. Anyway. Come. We'll explain who the guy here is while we try to get you some place warmer. Okay, fine. So, tell me about this guy eater. <sighs> He's a terrifying, merciless, ruthless beast. Heck, he came to this world within a flash of light. He, along with his serpent and wolf, attacked the All-Father and his son out of nowhere, like a coward. What? Yeah. It, it's ridiculous. I could, Thor said his, his uh, serpent was almost as big as Yamagandar and the dog burst into flames and attacked while the master just watched testing them what else as soon as he saw that his beasts were about to be defeated he decided to take on both of them at once but the serpent for some odd reason Want to prove himself to its master. Really? Yes. It was very difficult, but luckily, the serpent was not the real world snake, or else Thor might not have survived. Really? Okay. What else? Well, it's been years since that faithful battle since he's appeared but then as soon as he showed himself again he went straight for the world tree really yes and he demanded that Heimdall relinquish his powers to, to him and swear his allegiance to go against Odin and all of Asgard really Yes, but Heimdall, as loyal as he was, decided to take up arms against the threat. Yes. Really, yes. He cared far more about the Asgardians, as well as all nine realms, and would not succumb to such a tyrant. Somehow, Heimdall fell in battle. Huh. He did, huh? Yes. And ever since then, the World Tree has been unaccessible to other you know, mortal races, except for a few. So, can humans access it? No, we can't. We even need a bright, a, a bifrost or something. What's that? Huh, you really don't know nothing. Yeah. Either way, when Heimdall was defeated, his sword was 
split into several parts, making Bifrost crystals, and the whole... Let's just say the world tree was reconfigured. It changed massively to a point where it, you could say it was a uh, quite interesting. Not only could you go uh, to other realms, but it's the fact that you'd be able to continue living like nothing's happened. What are you talking about? Well, each realm has a different set of rules, as well as you could say. Mm, no, you say yeah, you could say a lot. Oh, I'm sorry if it's annoying you. No, it's just something weird. Uh, well, at the very least, anyone who happens to come across a Bifrost has practically an unlimited ticket all-around trip across the realms. However, they will need a, a travel room. Really? Yes. You have any idea where I can get a travel room and a uh, Bifrost? Why? Just ask. Well, um... No, not really. It's, it's they're really used only by the gods of Asgard. Huh? You don't say. Yes. Hmm. That's upsetting. Why? Just curious. You ask a lot of questions for someone. Heck, I don't know anything. That's why I ask questions. So you say. Either way. Yeah, that's pretty much the God Eaters. It's just that he is a terrifying force. Not one you would want to take lightly. Really? Yes. But, at the very least, when it comes to Odin, he caught up with the tyrant and froze him solid, hopefully for all eternity. Though he was strong, is was told that he was still mortal. And as long as uh, that still remains to be true. Huh. You don't say. Yes. See, Odin used it had a concentrated blast from the winds of Helheim. So. Yeah, no mortal could ever take such cold temperatures. Even Odin himself can barely stand it, if at all. Really? Yes. So, yeah, we, you could say that we are very lucky that he's not a god. Yeah. It'll be tragic if someone like that came knocking on your door, wouldn't it? You're telling me. But I would like to know why he would attack the gods in such a cowardly way. They did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery. Too bad we'll never know. If I ever saw him, I would just spin his face. Really? Yes. Seriously, having the audacity to actually attack the All Father and his son? Talk about the goal. 
Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. No, it was doomed. But at the very least, he's been vanquished. That's more than what we could ever ask for. Hmm. Anyway, thank you for the story. I'll be on my way. Wait, you don't you want to stay? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll be fine. And all I can say is, <laughs> I'll be careful of the God Eater or whatever. whatever. Uh, what's your name? Eh, you, nothing you got to worry about. I'm not saying. Izuku leaving, but super pissed off that they made up that story about him. Especially the circumstances of him attacking first. Him being the aggressor. Or oppressor. Either way. So yeah. This is not the... Not something you really wanted to hear. Especially considering that it's about you. Huh. So where are you going? Now you're a businesswoman. Are you going after the Guardians? Uh, why would I do that? Because you are the God Eater. Izuku. You know what? <laughs> I don't recall telling you my name. You didn't. Okay. You have my attention. Now who the hell are you? Uh, I can't tell you that. What, are you a mind reader or something? No. I just know you. You know me too. Do I now? Yeah. You know me. At least, you will. The mysterious woman just leaping out of nowhere. He's like, what the fuck? Who's that? Huh. Either way, looks like I got some work to do. If he tries a long ass time, let's say 10 years, looking, hoping to find a bright frost, up to the point where he's pretty much given up. I'm locating one. Once he hears about the Vendor Gods, he thinks, oh, maybe they can help. And considering that they are at war with the Aesir, it's like, well, yeah, sign me up. Too bad the fighting's over. By the time he actually gets to any kind of battlefield, he sees that no one's here. No. I missed the fight? How long? As he starts hearing about the marriage between Freya and Odin, solidifying peace and whatnot, he's pissed beyond imagination. So, what's he to do? I doubt they're going to help him now. Especially if they know who he actually is. But then he remembers. The giants. They have a multitude of ways to traverse worlds. Perhaps they'll help. Especially considering how much they hate that fat fuck Thor and his hammer. Sadly, he doesn't know what any giants look like. Or, besides being giant, where they would be. No one really wants to tell him anything because he does have a sliver of green hair, which just puts them all on edge. And even then, people start calling him the God Eater, having. Yeah, let's see. 
that saying that when there's someone with green hair is kind of taboo, or at least seen as not something looked upon with favor. <sighs> Looks like I really am stuck here. Oh, need some help? Huh? You again. You missed the war. Giant's gone. Yeah. But I can help you. How? <laughs>